Hi, I am Blue from Hello the Future, and guess what I have? I said guess after I already showed you what it was. It isn't fair. Let's try it again. Guess what I have? I'm gonna wait now while you guess what I have. I'm gonna wait now while you guess what I have. I'm gonna wait now, wait now, wait now while you... It's an it's mint car cover. The CD. Look, 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 look. Ah, it's got a front and an inside and then another inside and it's got a back. And, 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 and it has an, an insert and it has a CD. And which way does it go? Uh, that way. There, there you go. I'm, I'm, I, I like this so much. It's so pretty. It. I have a thousand of these in my house now. And they will be mailed tomorrow morning. Not all thousand, good heavens. But the ones that have been ordered will be mailed. And, and yay. I'm so. This is so cool. This is so cool. Um. So Infinity Right Now. So I said on Tuesday when I did my recording of Infinity Right Now, by the way, I think I need to get my glasses adjusted. What do you think, Internet? I said on Tuesday when I recorded Infinity Right Now, which is my song about math and death and time and memory, and you can listen to it somewhere. You can listen to it there. <laughs> Anyway, when I recorded Infinity right now, I said I would talk about it on Thursday. And so here's the deal with Infinity right now. I suppose that there is a moment when everyone figures out that no matter what you think will happen after you die, the current belief, or the odds are, that that particular thing will happen forever and ever 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 and ever. And that is a bit unnerving, to say the least. I always thought, I mean, like when I was a kid, the last battle kind of freaked me out, because they get to the end and then there's another smaller world, and then they get to the end of that and there's another smaller world, and each world is more and more detailed, that's pretty cool, but it makes it sound like the afterlife is the longest nature walk in the world. Anyway. What I mean to say about all of this will be short, I hope, because I have a lot of CDs to pack. But what interests me about this idea of infinity right now, and, and tell me, I have not had anyone yet tell me that my math is wrong, the idea that we are, in fact, on an infinite spectrum, and that, in fact, everything that may even end up and in, up to and including the heat death of the universe or whatever, you know, there'll be something after it forever and ever 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 and ever. What interests me more than that is this this idea that I, I put into the bridge of the song about memory degrading, which. I think is interesting particularly if you think about, let's say that you're cognizant after death, all right, let's say that, then what happens to your memory? Because already, you know, and I've said before how old I am, think about it, um, already I have noticed that, you know, I have a, a handful of memories that are crystal, crystal clear, and you think about them, and the, for a moment it's, it's like you're actually living them over again inside your mind, and it's really cool when you can do that. But, you know, I forget a lot of stuff. There are huge, huge chunks, you know, that have faded, faded from stories that I can replay into my head to images that I can sort of pop out like a picture, yes, this happened, to just sort of ideas, like I, I think this happened, but the picture, I don't remember what the picture looked like anymore. And I imagine as I continue my journey through life that, you know, you have the brightest memories closer to where you are most currently, and then as you think back and back and back into the past, they get fuzzier and fuzzier and fuzzier. So, so the idea of infinite cognizance would seem to imply that at one point, far enough down that line, you would potentially forget sort of everything that had ever happened to you during this particular phase of life. And that seems interesting, 
in that I haven't seen it sort of come up in a lot of places. And I'm curious if it has come up in any place that you would know of, like if there's a nice sci-fi or spec fic or real fic or true dat kind of book where I can read about it, or a movie, or something. That would be interesting. Anyway, I have said all I care to say because I have a lot of CDs to put into a lot of envelopes. Thank you guys for ordering Mink Car. You rock so hard.